today inshallah we are going to discuss the first chapter in the first chapter you can see we are going to cover the basic part the basic simple definitions as well as the different types of loads and different types of electricity the complete first chapter inshallah we are going to discuss in today's class so first thing whenever you are going to start any new area or whenever you are going to work for a new region the first thing you have to understand is nothing but the rules and regulation as well as some basics then only you can able to understand the complete topic in a very clear way so chapter 1 you can see is electrical designing what is mean by electrical designing and the drafting all these three we have discussed in the last class now you can see basically whenever you are going to work for any project the first thing what you have to make a thing what you have to make a notice we should have a draft plan we should have a draft plan how you are going to get a draft plan with the help of design area once the designing is done then we are going to sketch the same design into the draft model the same draft model we are going to execute on site so basically electrical is a module of designing of designing for routing or connecting the electrical and electronic system whenever you are going to work for any project the first thing is to provide the electricity okay, you are going to provide the electricity it can be any type of project it can be the industry it can it can be the plant or it can be any factory so we have to provide the reliable supply if there is no point of supply you are working with one project there is no point of supply so in that case what you are going to do you are going to use your own in house generators or is you are going to apply for the point of supply from the substation people but the first thing is to provide the electricity next thing introduction to the building industry whenever you are going to work for any project for example if the project is very very big so designing will be very complex for you designing will be very complex to to generate or to develop the complex design it may take months even years and may include number of engineers supervisors and technician you alone cannot develop the complete model okay, you can have a multiple years of experience but remember that only a team work will give you a good result so make a note that whenever you are going to work for any project it can be from mechanical area electrical area civil or architect we have to work in a team and the team consists of engineers supervisors as well as technicians so you may also have a foreman also again the designing of residential building is much simple when you are working with small projects like a residential villa i can say so in that case we we need only few number of people like one or two engineers okay will look after the complete sector like the civil engineer if he is having ample amount of experience then he will look after the plumbing also he will look he will take care of the electrical also so when you are working with small project then one or two engineers are enough and the designing of electrical system for larger project is responsibility of electrical consultant company what is meant by consultancy a group of engineers working in a team I'm talking about electrical consultancy as we are working in electrical area to develop the electrical model we are working in electrical consultancy company so this company will work for the development as well as for the execution of the electrical areas so consultant people may also carry out other duties many of the engineers will think that as a design area it is a white collar job it's false sometimes we have to approach or we have to develop the bill of quantity also we have to develop the bill of material also and sometimes we have to go to the site also for the supervision as well as for the same thing whether it is going to be carried on site also so consultant people may also carry out other duties it is false that being in design you have to be only in design along with this you have to work for estimation also you have to work for the installation and execution also next each of the task will be performed in coordination with architect so you are under an architect okay architect is a complete whole and soul responsible person for the complete project so you will be working under an architect or any senior mep engineer you will be getting a designation as senior mep engineer if you have minimum 10 to 12 years of experience that means minimum 3 years of quality experience you should have in every service like 3 years in mechanical area 3 years in the plumbing as well as the firefighting again 3 years in electrical then you'll be called, you'll be getting designation as senior mep engineer so this senior mep engineer or architect will carry out overall building planning and designing these are the two people who are going to plan who are going to design the complete project 
the coordination of work is very very important okay i can simply say that you have to coordinate very accurately between different engineer but it is not a simple and easy task so coordination of work between architect and other department is an important as well as very difficult task i can say sometimes because of improper coordination okay you have to revise the complete design also so error in coordination will give you the bad result so from day one of the project you have to make a note that whenever you are going to work for any project we have to provide a good coordination it may take some amount of time some revisions okay but at last you are going to enjoy the benefit so better to coordinate from day one of the project